Hi everybody, glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Sonia Bagdaddy. Just in time for the holiday, 80 Connecticut National Guard airmen coming home tonight. The plane landed just a short time ago at Bradley Air National Guard Base. News 8's Bob Wilson is live in East Granby with more. Bob? Uh, the plane touched down about a half an hour ago. You can still see it out here on the tarmac, just in from Ireland where it came from the Middle East. And uh, there are about 80 airmen from the 103rd Air Control Squadron, the ACS, that returned from the Middle East. Take a look here as they jumped into the arms of their loved ones, fathers, reunited with their daughters, their sons, their wives, and also women, <laughs> all everybody there, just hugging and screaming, cheering. It was amazing because it was 194 days since they had left. They left back in May. And uh, while overseas, they were responsible for the control of the coalition airspace in that region. Tonight, they're just glad to be home two days before Thanksgiving. It's fantastic, really. It's, uh, I'm just over, overwhelmed, I really am. You know, I've been looking forward to this uh, for six months, really, and to be back home, and uh, this will be it for me because it's uh, getting close to retirement. He did three tours overseas, and then his wife said, those are just your overseas tours. He did a lot of tours here in America. She's very glad he's retiring. But right now, the plane's getting ready to fuel off, take off into the night. There are still other people on board that have to go home in other parts of the country. It'll be heading back to, um, I believe, Baltimore at this point. But the big thing tonight is there are still 700 approximately airmen, Connecticut National Guardsmen, all still in the military overseas tonight. And we're thinking of them as well as they get back hopefully soon to their families. I'm Bubbles reporting live in East Granby, News 8.